Hello and welcome to Train Signal. This is David Davis and today I'm talking about how to thin app your app in under five minutes. In this video I'll cover how to virtualize your application using ThinApp in under five minutes. In fact, we'll be specifically virtualizing Firefox. This video is part of our much larger ThinApp virtualization series. There's many videos in that series that cover how to virtualize applications in great detail, unlike this video where we'll be speeding through it. But with that, let's get started. Okay, so here we go. We're going to virtualize Firefox in under five minutes. I'm going to go to Start, Programs. I'm going to run VMware that we already installed in our installation video. I'm going to do the pre-scan by clicking Scan right here. This takes just a minute to scan the PC. We'll be right back. Okay, now with the scan done, we need to install and configure our application. I've already downloaded Firefox 3.5 here. It's out on this share. I'm just going to run the installation for Firefox. I'll click through the standard Firefox installation. I am going to do a custom install. I'll make sure the destination folder is correct. I don't want my end users to have a quick launch or to have an icon on their desktop, but I do want it in the start menu only. So I'll say next there, and I'm just going to call it Firefox for simplicity of finding it in the start menu. I'm going to uncheck Firefox as my default web browser and say install. I'm going to opt to launch Firefox now because I want to make sure that there's no uh, initial install questions that have to be answered, such as these right here, the import wizard. I don't want the end users to have to be answering questions like this, so I'm going to say don't import anything, and I'm going to uncheck this to always perform that uh, when Firefox starts, and I'll say no right there. We'll get rid of the welcome to Firefox page. We'll just go to trainsignal.com because I would like to make that my default end user's startup page. And notice here that the Adobe Flash Player needs to be installed for Flash to be able to work. So I'm going to click there because I want Flash to work for my end users as well. I'm going to uncheck this. I'll say to agree and install now. We'll allow that. We'll install the Flash add-on to Firefox. We'll restart Firefox. Flash Player is installed. We'll close the Download Manager. Flash appears to be working. We'll close out our add-ons here. And let's go back to trainsignal.com. And there we go. Flash is working now. We're going to set this as our home page. We'll say to use current page here and say OK. And that's how I want Firefox configured when my users run it as a virtual application. So at this point, I can close out Firefox. We'll go down here to the thin app setup capture, and I'll click Post Scan. We'll say OK there. And the post scan is in progress. Once this is done, we can save our project and then build our package. Okay, the post scan is completed. Let's review the list of entry points here. I'm going to uncheck safe mode, and I just want to have Mozilla Firefox as the only executable in our list. For the inventory name, we definitely want this to say Firefox. I'm just going to leave it at that, and I'll say next here. We'll take all the defaults here, but I do want to save it out on my network share. That's my repository for all my ThinApp projects. There we go. There's my ThinApp admin projects. I'll say OK there. And then I'm going to add on a slash Firefox onto that. I'll say Save now. And our project has been saved. I'll go ahead and say Build right here. This will build the Firefox package or virtual application. And there we go. The build is complete. I'll say Finish here. And now it opens up the bin directory for us and we can run Firefox right here on Windows XP. And there we go. Notice how it brought up trainsignal.com as my home page because I selected that and notice how the Flash player is obviously working because this video screen is displayed here inside the web page. And there you go. That's how you virtualize Firefox or any Windows application using VMware ThinApp in under five minutes. Let's go back to our slides. There you go. I just showed you how to virtualize Firefox using ThinApp in under five minutes. We barely made it. If you haven't already, I hope you'll go on to watch my video covering how to virtualize applications with ThinApp that goes into virtualizing applications in much greater detail. Again, thanks for watching this video from TrainSignal.